Hello, hello everybody. The video you're going to see is the video that I recorded when I was up at the Cellar Club with um, Caroline Munro. I met Caroline Munro. Um, and if you don't know who she is, she, I say was, she still is a hammer horror icon. And um, she was a Bond girl. Um, played quite a few supporting roles in her time. She was in The Golden Voyage of Sinbad as well. But I went and met her and I did a little interview with her. It wasn't a very long interview. Um, it, was the, it was at the end of the evening. Sorry if my voice is a bit... Because this cold virus is just going round and round and round. I'm not bad. Rich is a lot worse. You know what men are like, don't you? They're not very good patients, are they? Let me introduce you also to Claude here. There we go, my boy. Yes, he likes to get on my lap while I make my videos. So without further ado, I'm actually going to scent Caroline herself with this scent because she said she loved green, mossy, outdoor, musky perfumes and so and i've just dropped the lid i like to keep it real here this is by andy tower carillon pour un ange chariot for an angel and the reason why i've chosen this because it has a beautiful lily of the valley but it has this leather and green facet about it sadly discontinued now very rare to find and I'm so glad that I've got a bottle of it. I've used a fair bit actually. I've had it over a year now. Actually I have used a fair bit. That's how much I love it and whenever I do wear it Richard always comments. So I think Caroline you'd probably like the scent but without further ado I am going to let you watch the video. It's about four or five minutes, about five minutes long, and then we'll come back. So here I am at the Phoenix Club. Um, I'm just about to interview Caroline Munro. As you can see, beautiful decor in the heart of London. Yeah, that's that fine. Are you okay, okay with brandy? Okay, brandy. Oh, brandy. <laughs> brandy. I don't know if I've got my just... lipstick on, but then I. Oh, you oh, still look got some lovely, darling. You're so such a Capricorn. I am a Capricorn. Yes, you are. You are. No, I'm not. I but am, I sense you're an earth sign. I am yes. earth sign. And I love being outside is my favourite place. Well, being outside in the air. It's interesting you say that because... It's my favourite, favourite place. I of all. Are you filming, Richard? I saw Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter, only for the very first time a few months ago. Yes. And in that film, I absolutely loved the fact that you did not have any nudity in the film. I did. It's very subtle, but you don't see you just anything. Take that, darling. Um, it, that, that, I, yes, it was, it was kind of my choice. And Brian was... He, at first, he wasn't sure because he thought that was part of Hammer that you know they they wanted nudity, but but ultimately we did it, and I was had very long hair. It was done very tastefully stuck to my chest <laughs> and flesh color knickers basically. <laughs> so oh, that's how we did it, oh, and also brilliant lighting from Ian Wilson. And there's a that phrase you say in that that I think is so profound. You say that beauty fades. But the kind, the kind oh, soul lasts forever. Lasts forever. Yes, that's and the nicest line she yeah, says. I know, and yeah. it's so done with such 
I just love it. I just oh, love it so, so much. Sweet. So I sent it, oh, Naomi. So I sent it, Naomi. I sent it her. Um, <sighs> well, I have to send you a link of my video that I sent. Oh, it I'd love because, to because, see that. Because I, I saw the video see. in I saw the film in 1977. Oh, when it came I out, was you were five years old. I can see you were baby. I was five. Yes. Oh my but gosh. I was. A I was a little boy. Oh, you were a little boy? Yes, yeah, so I'm transgender. And I'm a beautiful woman. Thank you, yes. And I remember saying to my dad, I remember saying to my dad at five years old, when you got off that speedboat, yes. I said to my dad, why can't I be like that lady, Dad? Oh, my gosh. And look and at then, you. Look at you. Yes, well, I transitioned. It's made my eyes go. So oh, <laughs> don't say. Oh, I transitioned like 30 Cooper years ago. Wonderful. 1992, 32 years ago. Wow. So I wanted to say that oh, I'm so you, you, you were part of my journey. Oh, I love that. Even though I was only five years old at the time when I, I mean, saw that, the film. And then when I saw you a couple of years later beautiful. in Goody Two Shoes, yeah. <laughs> I was about Adam. nine. I was about nine. And I thought, gosh, that lady's so conservative. But there's something about <laughs> her in that bedroom with Adam in the house. With Adam, I mean, yes, hey. exactly. <laughs> so I sent it Naomi, but I wanted to ask, what's your signature scent? Um, I don't really, my daughter likes Chloe, one of my daughters. I like Chloe a lot. Okay. I like Chloe. I like, I tend to like men's perfumes better Men's okay. perfumes better. Okay. That, oh, that would be. For a men's I like men's. Better. I like and I like musky ones. I musky like musky perfumes. Yeah. Oh, I like subtle ones, but with hints of the outdoors as with well. With hints of the outdoors, so yeah. green, earthy. mossy. Yes, mossy. Lovely. Something like that. Lovely. I'm an earthy girl. And if you could just go back to your younger self, yeah, would there be anything that you would change? Um, I I think possibly my shyness when i was a young girl because being mm. dyslexic and i was quite tall and i had big feet so all, oh. so i wouldn't have changed that but i used to get bullied a little bit right. you know because i couldn't read very well right. so i think that that was a shyness that strangely okay. i chose yeah, acting so. or it chose well, it me it kind of fell into it, it so, fell, yeah fell know. into it i so. did yeah it's been lovely chatting. We've lovely chatting, chatting with you. Okay. And you take care. And you're you amazing. Thank you so much. You look gorgeous. Thank Lo you. Love that. Yes. Fabulous. Yes. Thank you. Take care. That was a big way. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> so there we go. I felt so humbled. I felt so honoured to be able to speak to Caroline Monroe herself. There were a lot of people there, as you can see in that video. It was... Um, very very um intimate uh and it was a thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable evening um traveling around in london is something else as well i finally realized i don't like the tube station that's me i got I, I got a little bit anxious but anyway i hope you loved the authenticity of that video it was just her natural self and those fun facts to learn about when she was on set um, and to her own personal life as well. Um, I think it taps into us as humans. She may be, you know, a star on the screen, but she's still a human being like we all are. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good weekend and I'll see you all in the next video.